again, everyone. Welcome back to Bilingual Storytime. We just read Un Dia Perfecto by Jennifer Yerkes with permission from Abuen Paso. And it was all about animal sounds. And so now we're going to make our little frog noisemaker. So we talked about how the frog goes croak, croak, croak. And so we're gonna make this fun noisemaker that goes. It's kind of <laughs> loud when you pull it fast. It makes like different noises depending on which way you pull it and how fast you do it. So if y'all do this, it's pretty fun to play with. So all we need for this craft is a paper cup, uh, some green paper or white paper and a green marker, uh, some ribbon, some glue, some scissors, googly eyes, and paper clips. Entonces, otra vez, los materiales que van a necesitar es un vasito de papel, papel verde, unos paper, un paper clip, ojos locos, y cinta. And black pens or markers, El I marcador. forgot to mention those, yes. Because we are going to draw a little frog to put on the front of our cup. So that is the first thing that we're going to do. So Miss Isela and I each have some green cardstock, and we're just going to draw little frogs. You can draw it however you want, just make sure it more or less is sort of the size of the paper cup. It can be a little bigger or a little smaller, uh, but roughly the size of whatever cup you've grabbed. El primer paso es que vamos a dibujar una ranita que sea casi el mismo tamaño del vaso. Y lo pueden dibujar como ustedes gusten. Voy a tratar de hacerlo igual que Miss Camille. Yeah, y'all are going to be able to tell that I did the example because I have one way of drawing frogs. <laughs> can you show us? Yeah. So Ooh, I went yeah. ahead and here, I'll, I'll start over so you can see each step. I'm going to go behind you so yeah. you can see how you draw it. Okay. So this is how I've just always drawn frogs. I've always liked to doodle them. I start with kind of a big arch, like an upside down U shape or a lowercase n. And then I connect the bottoms with kind of a, a shorter little arch underneath. And then I do the eyes. We're gonna put Google eyes on, so I, I only have to do kind of the outlines and I want them to be bigger than my googly eyes. So I'm gonna do two, almost like Mickey Mouse ears on the top of my frog. Just as a little decoration, I like to do some dots, like freckles. And then I'm gonna do the mouth, which is just a smile coming up from both sides. So Miss Camila está haciendo una sonrisa. Las, lo que parecen orejitas son los ojos. And, and Miss I'm gonna do a little nose. I don't know if, I think frogs do have a little, little nose holes. Sí. la pequeña nariz de esta ranita. Now I'm going to do, the body is, is sort of a similar shape to the head, it's just smaller, so I'm going to do kind of a little bell shape underneath. And I just connect that with a straight line. And then I'm doing the arms, which is just a, sort of a W shape down below where the mouth is. And now I like this part the best, I'm going to do his little feet. And so those are just sort of little M shapes with the bottoms all connected. So there's his front feet. And his back feet are the same thing, just longer. There we go. Yeah, thank you. There's my little frog. And now we're just going to cut them out. So while Missy Sella is cutting hers, I'm going to put on my googly eyes. I actually brought some uh, glue dots to put on my googly eyes with. Qué linda te quedó tu rana. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yours is cute too. Sí, ahorita les enseño. La mía no es tan linda como la de mis comillos, pero traté. Hice lo mejor que pude. I think he's very cute. Ya tenemos muchos animales atrás, yeah. insectos. Tenemos un zoológico aquí atrás. We really do. Oh my gosh. We have a zoo behind us. Let's see. And it's funny because some of the animals behind us, I can't, I, if you asked me, I wouldn't really be able to think of a sound they would make. Like, what sound does a badger make? No tengo ni idea. No, I have no idea. I don't really know what sound a spider makes either, other than just its little legs running around. Okay, so I put on my Google eyes. Missy Sella, would you hand me the scissors, please? Thank you. Entonces. My frog's little legs only have very like thin 
um, areas that they're attached to the body. So I'm just cutting mine out as like a general shape. I'm not doing a super detailed cutout. That's me, Adriana. <laughs> oh, I love him. Kind of looks like a pug. <laughs> I am a pug if you don't remember <laughs> our video from last year. <laughs> I thought you said it looked like a bug. <laughs> it kind of does too. <laughs> All right, so Missy Sella, I'm gonna give you two paper clips because now we're gonna kind of assemble our uh, noisemaker. So we are gonna glue the frog to the front of the cup. So I'm just gonna grab some glue. Since the cup is round and the paper's kind of flat, I'm just gonna do one sort of line of glue down the middle of the back of my frog and stick it on. Eso es nomás. Estamos pegando la rana a frente del vaso. My frog is, is quite a bit taller than the cup, but that's okay, it'll still work. Perfect. So now I'm gonna take one of my paper clips and I'm gonna unbend it just a little bit, just so I have kind of a little point to poke a hole in, the, in this part of my cup. So we've turned our cup over uh, upside down and we're gonna poke a hole in the bottom, which is now facing up. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to poke through, but it works. Okay, and I'm gonna take my ribbon. I'm taking, this is, this is more than the instructions called for, but we need extra so that we can uh, tie the paper clips to the ends. So this is probably like two feet of ribbon. And I'm gonna kind of bend the end of it so that I can get it into the hole I just made in my cup. And if you need help getting it in, you can even use your paper clip to kind of push it through. Yeah, you might need an adult to help you with this just because it's a, it can be a little bit tricky. Because you want your, uh, your uh. ribbon to be sort of tight in the hole so that it makes the noise. <laughs> yes. Here, Miss Marie, if you want to come over so I can show what I was doing. I kind of folded the end of the ribbon. You could also just cut it at an angle so you have a sharp point. And I'm going to take that end, kind of put it over the hole. Oh no! <laughs> Here, I'll let me see the scissors. Let's try it this way. Yeah, because the, the paper clip just went right through the ribbon. I'm using the paper clip to kind of poke the ribbon through the hole. It worked better that time. There we go. Perfect, so it's through and now you just have to reach it and pull it, which awesome. is also a little bit tricky if you have big hands like me that you have a hard time getting through the cup. I've almost got it. There we go. Oh yay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay, so now that we've got the ribbon in uh, each side of our cup, I'm gonna put the lid on my glue stick first of all, so it doesn't dry out. Bend your paper clip back to how it was before and tie a paper clip to each side of the ribbon. This is just to keep the ribbon um, through where it is without it falling out. Entonces nomás vamos a amarrar la cinta con un paper clip en aquí y el segundo acá. This is also just to give you kind of a little handle to pull on when you're doing your little noisemaker. Very good. <laughs> I've almost got mine tied and then we can have our frogs croak together. <laughs> oh no, I'm having trouble tying a knot. My nails are longer than usual, so. There we go. Okay, let's hear our frogs. <laughs> que padre. Awesome. All right, so there's our little frog noisemakers. Pretty easy to make, and it's kind of the usual materials we use a lot. So y'all probably have a lot of this at home. If you make a frog, make sure you post a picture down below. We would love to see it. And don't forget to sign up for our SRC Summer Reading Club kickoff on starting uh, what is it, May 24th? And the SRC kickoff is going to be Ju June 5th from 10 a.m. to noon at the main library, outdoor. We will see y'all there.